love this time of year when the snow is melting and the soil is starting to dry out and you just get excited to get outside and do some planting and uh, basically we've got a lot of vegetables and uh, even a couple flowers you can actually get outside and plant as soon as your soil dries out in the spring so we're talking uh, you know snow melts the mud finally kind of clears up enough where you can get out there and turn the soil over and you know, maybe cultivate or, uh, or or even you know get out there with a hoe or a shovel and turn the soil over and just be ready to plant as soon as your soil is ready to go we've got a lot of things here at Anderson Seed and Garden that you can get outside and you can plant this is our seed list and uh, our seed list has all the different varieties of vegetables on it that we carry and of course we have uh, the same list on our webpage at andersonseedandgarden.com it also has color pictures and descriptions of all the varieties but we can give you all that information here at the store and we have a couple catalogs that you could look at here in the store as well too but really we'll, we'll give you the best recommendations off of uh, whatever you're looking to plant and uh, on the back side the planting guide uh, right here shows you what you can plant and when and so we're looking at group a right now so group a is right here we're looking at peas spinach lettuce radishes onions cabbage cauliflower broccoli brussels sprouts those can all be planted as soon as your soil is workable in the spring and uh, that can be from seed or even from plants and so i'm going to show you some of the seeds that we've got and we're going to weigh a few up here on the scale because that's how we do our seeds so say you, you want to get some early radishes in i've got radishes a lot of different varieties right here so um, you know we've got watermelon radish we've got crimson giant we've got hailstone probably our most popular is the cherry bell so I'm gonna grab some of the cherry bell radishes and uh, if your rows are let's say 15 feet usually about a quarter of an a uh, quarter of an ounce to an eighth of an ounce is enough for about 15 feet so as uh, as the scale balances up we're gonna have a quarter of an ounce of seed right there and a quarter of an ounce of seed looks about like that. I would suspect there's probably about 500 seeds of radishes and a quarter of an ounce. And you're only looking at about 75 to 90 cents for the radishes, depending on which variety you get. So really not very expensive. And you've got enough to do about a, a nice thick 15 foot row with a quarter of an ounce on that seed. So the radish seed really goes a long way. Very, very inexpensive. And it can go out as soon as you can get your soil workable. Now you can also plant peas and uh, we've got the peas as well too right here we've got early frosty which is one of my favorite varieties it's a it's an early one uh, so it's a little bit smaller pod but a very early variety of peas and the peas look just like that and uh, generally a quarter of a pound of peas uh, a quarter of a pound of peas will run about a dollar so not very expensive at all in the bulk much much less expensive than in the packets so a quarter of an ounce of peas will go about 25 feet and you're only looking at about a dollar of investment. You'd have to buy four to eight packets of seed to uh, to come out to be about the same amount. Those packets run about a dollar fifty a piece, so you're saving yourself about five to six times when you're buying them in bulk over buying them in the little packages. So it's a much less expensive way to buy the seeds and uh, much more much more economical. But uh, as uh, we get a little bit farther into uh, into spring we'll have the plants as well as as the seed so we'll always have the seed available but uh, onion plants usually start arriving around the 15th of march and that just depends on how the weather goes if the weather breaks and we've got some nice weather those onion plants will start coming in around the 15th of march otherwise it'll be a week or two later and then uh, broccoli cabbage cauliflower plants will all start coming in about the same time and then our bare root sale uh, will start around the 20th of March and that's when we start getting in bare root strawberries and bare root raspberries and bare root fruit trees and all those things will start coming in but you know as soon as you can get outside and get some peas and some radishes and some onions and uh, cabbage cauliflower broccoli get those out there as soon as your soil is workable and they'll do great a couple things that you can do to uh, make your garden a little bit more su successful as you're planting is to use a product like mike uh, mike is a natural fungus it's very very beneficial 
for all kinds of plants and it's especially beneficial for vegetables because it makes them produce way more than they normally would. Uh, it goes out in search of water and nutrient and brings it right to the plant that is its host and uh, brings that water and nutrient to it so the plant can utilize the, the nutrients better than it would all by itself. So if you can put this in with your cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli transplants, put it in with your onions, put it in with your radish seeds, put it in with your pea seeds, it will enhance your, your production. Your plants will be healthier, they'll be less likely to, to have disease or insect problems, they won't stress as much, and they'll also produce a lot more for you. We've been using it for about four or five years and we are amazed at the results on the mycorrhiza. And as you're planting, make sure you put a good slow release fertilizer in like the tomato and vegetable food. I've got some great organic varieties of fertilizer as well too, so it just depends on, on how you want to garden. But I've got some great fertilizers to go ahead and put right down in the rows with your seeds when you're planting or right in with the transplants and it will work in conjunction with your mycorrhiza and uh, your plants will be able to pick up that nutrient and, and use it and uh, they'll flourish because of it. So be sure and use a little fertilizer, a little mycorrhiza and get out there and get your seeds and transplants planted as soon as your soil is workable.